Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the differences between Git and GitHub. As a newer developer, I had no idea what that meant. And I wanna take a moment to explore that and really divide out the differences between the two. If you're a new developer and you're looking at jobs and you see them online, you're going to see experience with Git, SVN, VCS. What does that mean? They're all version control systems. The main thing that people are using now is Git. So come with me, we're gonna explore that. Let's check it out. What is Git? You've probably seen or heard of Git or GitHub, but what is the difference? Git is a version control system, VCS, that lets different developers work on and manage the same code base. Git is a software that lives inside your computer that you download. This lets you push up your code from your computer to the website where the original code was placed or hosted. But what about GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, other websites? These are not the same as Git. These are just websites that will host your code files for you. When you have a folder full of code, you can upload it to one of these websites and it will keep it there. The only differences are that these websites have different business models. If you post your code to GitHub, you will need to pay if you want to make your code private. Whereas Bitbucket can let you have a free private code folder for a small number of users. All of these use Git, the software on your computer, to download and upload to these websites. When you upload code to one of these websites, it's going to be called a repository. You can name your repository whatever you want. Most developers generally refer to these as whatever name repo. So let's say you and a few friends all want to work on the code but at different places and times. First, they'll need to download a copy to their computer. This is known as cloning in Git. Once they have a copy of the code, they can start to edit. As they're editing and get to a good save point, they can commit their code. This saves what they've changed on their computer. You can leave a note with each commit. I changed the font size, I fixed the bug, I broke this. <laughs> it shows the starting point and all of the differences they've made since they've started. They can do this multiple times, get to a good point, save, keep working, save again, commit it, save it locally on their computer so that you can keep track of what you've changed. If you break something or want to go back, you have a history of what you've changed and you can see what you've done. So make it a habit to commit often and commit early so that you don't end up with a uh, 1000 file change commit and then when you broke something, you have to look at 1000 changes and figure out which one of those broke it. So commit often, commit early, that way that doesn't happen. Once they're done editing it, they need to push their code back up to the website. When you do that, it will also push all of the commits and the messages you've made so everyone can see the changes you've been making. But don't worry, the code won't automatically overwrite what the original code was put on that website. They have to request that their code be merged in with the original code on whatever site you're using. This is known as a pull request. The push code will be viewable on the website and the admin or whoever has the ability to merge can choose to accept or deny the new code that you or your friends want to uh, merge in. The person can co comment on it and say, hey, this looks like a typo, and then they can fix it and push it up again, and then uh, they will see that the pull request has been updated with the new change, and it will be approved and merged in with the code that is there. Now I know this doesn't solve all of the technical questions one might have about Git, such as the commands and the terminal and the specifics of that, or the specifics of branches, but this is meant to be a high overview of the clear line that Git is a program on your computer, and GitHub and other websites are the location that you push the code to, where other developers can pull it down and work on it. Also, I kind of wanted a reason to teach in VR, I'm not sure I hope this doesn't make anyone dizzy. Sorry if it makes you dizzy. I thought this would be way more interactive and like just thinking like 20 years people are going to be like in VR classrooms and 
there's gonna be like a holographic tea. And, and I thought this would be cool. So if you like it, that's cool, leave a like. Uh, you have a question or a comment, leave it down below. I'll be sure and get to it. And otherwise, just be sure and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. Cool guys, see you in the next one. Bye.